असलम एंड हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू आई होप यू हैव ब्लेस ईयर अहेड ऑफ यू डोंट फोर गेट टू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो लेट स्टार्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन बिल्ड द बेसिक क्रिएट रीड अपडेट एंड डिलीट ऑपरेशन विद जे क्यूरी डाटा टेबल्स प्लग इन यूजिंग ए एस पी डॉट नेट कोर सेवन एम वी सी प्लेटफॉर्म so the first step is to install these set of packages in the same specific order as shown here on the screen these packages allow you to connect sql server database using entity framework with your asp.net core projects it is also helps you to generate your db context file which you can use to connect your database logic with your asp.net core project For this project I am going to use entity framework database first approach so you need to make sure that your database is already available to you with the relevant tables store procedures and some data available within your tables in order to connect sql server database with your asp.net core mvc project you need to generate a db context file to do that open nuget package manager console as shown here on the screen now to generate db context file for my sql server database i am going to use scaffold db context command so there are two ways you can use this command to connect your sql server database so the first option is to directly use sql server connection string in the scaffold db context command as shown here on the screen using nuget package manager console or the second option is to first create your sql server database connection string as a property within your app settings dot and file and then use that property within your scaffold db context command as shown here in the screen whichever option suits you use that particular option and generate your db context file after executing this scaffold db context command your database relevant db context file has been successfully generated along with the object mapper files that support your database tables now you need to register this db context object as a server on your asp.net core platform within program.cs file know that in asp.net core 7 startup.cs file has been depreciated and all the configuration that were previously available within startup.cs file are now merged within program.cs file so add this line of code within your program.cs file in order to register your db context object which you can later use as a dependency injection object within your target controller as shown here on the screen as in my case i am using this object within my home controller class for this project i am going to use ajax form which is not a built in component of asp.net core platform as opposed to asp.net mvc platform so install this package as shown here on the screen make sure to register this package as a service within your program.cs file with the help of these line of codes and use this line of code within your layered file in order to reference the relevant scripts for this package in order to give pop up page like effect to my add update delete and view operations i am going to use bootstrap 5 ui component moodle so i have created two moodle ui components one will be used to display my add update and view pages and second one will be used to display my messages from the server side Now I need to create a dynamic HTML view button which I can integrate within my jQuery data tables plugin in order to perform view edit and delete operations. The menu button will look something like this for each data entry within jQuery data tables plugin. I can either add this dynamic HTML menu as a string within my jQuery data table plugins configuration or I can add this dynamic HTML menu as a string within my server side and then attach that string to a property that eventually jquery data table will render so i'm going to use the second option and convert my dynamic html of this menu button as a string and then attach it to a property for my jquery data table to render as you can see on the screen 
Now design a simple index page that contains an add button to add the information, a title of the page, a data table that contains list of your data and a button attached to every data entry that you can use to edit, view and delete the information within your table uh, using jQuery data table plugin. Page will look something like this. I have used very basic server side configurations for jQuery data tables plugin with only the customization of of jQuery data tables loader button. Pagination sorting and searching has been configured at server side. Now design, add, edit and view pages. The Ajax form is common for all of these three pages and for view the input field are disabled so that user cannot input anything and can only read the information available to it. Make sure to reference jQuery form validation scripts either within your layout or within your index page since add, edit and view are pop-up pages so you need to reference that validation scripts within your index page. Edit page page will allow you to edit information of a particular user and add page will allow you to add information of a new user or a new customer and also uh, since validation scripts are referenced validation of the form will also be checked in case required fields are empty. Delete operation does not need any page since it's just an action and only require confirmation from user. So simply create delete action and after confirmation relevant message from server side will be displayed on the screen. Now let's see our project in action. As our application start, it launches index page, which you can see there is an add button, there is title of the page, there is jQuery data table integrated within your index page and each entry of your table contains a menu button which you can use to view, edit and delete this particular information within your data and also uh, you can sort your uh, table and also you can see there is pagination involved in this, you know, J jQuery data table plugin. You can search anything within your table. And also when you click on add, you can see the add page, you can add information. If you simply click add, you can see that form validation are also intact. And then you can, you know, add information. And when information is added, it is also added within your database as you can see here. And then if you try to kind of view this information, you can simply click on the menu button and then you can click on view. That information will be displayed on screen as a pop-up page and you cannot edit it as I have already mentioned previously. So this information is only for view. And if you want to edit it, you need to click on the edit option and then you can edit the information. And then when you click on update, you see that information is also updated in the database as well. And also, if you want to delete this information you can simply click on the delete action and information will be deleted uh, from your database as well and now you can see that information has been deleted source code url of this project is available in the description and if you are interested to read this particular project into more depth a written article has also be linked into the comment section and uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel that's about it thank you for for watching take care allah hafiz